we have exited the nucleus and are now floating through the cytoplasm. Surrounding the nucleus is the rough endoplasmic reticulum, or REI, a maze-like structure made of flattened membrane. Studied with ribosomes, the RER maintains a vital role in protein synthesis. Ribosomes link together amino acids following the instructions received from the RNA. The protein is then transported in a vesicle made from a portion of the RER's membrane. RER is rough endoplasmic reticulum. In the distance, you can see a mitochondria. Oh, over there. Mitochondria are free-floating organelles, typically referred to as the powerhouse of the cell. Mitochondria received its name due to their vital role in ATP generation. ATP, or adenosine triphosphate, is the main source of energy within the cell. Mitochondria take the pyruvate and convert it into carbon dioxide and water, releasing ATP in the process. Now that we have seen the major components of the cell, let's make our way outside. What is that? There's an incoming virus attack headed for the cell. Fortunately, a cloud of antibodies is stationed around the cell to protect it from viruses. blood cells consume the viruses as they are highlighted by the antibodies. Together, the antibodies and the white blood cells form the front line of our immune system. Thousands of viruses have made it past the antibodies viruses overcome the defenses and some viruses are able to enter the cell using counterfeit keys. There are too many viruses. It looks like the cell is not going to survive. Let's head back to the observatory. That completes our journey through the human body. We hope you enjoyed the tour.